Guys, we are here with Campbell head coach, Mike Mentor. Coach, the first question is, throughout spring practices, summer workouts, what have you noticed is different about this team than some teams from previous years at Campbell? Well, I think the toughness. We've been talking about that, you know. Um, it's one thing to be athletic, it's one thing to be talented, but it's a whole nother thing to be tough. And so our, our challenge to our guys was, Look, guys, we gotta get tough. So in that fourth quarter, man, we're not turning it down. Or in that second half, we're not turning it down. Okay? And so I think that's the biggest thing that I see different with this football team. They're embracing it. They want it. Right? So we took them old school. Right? <laughs> like Rocky, Rocky uh, four when he was fighting the Russian. Yeah, yeah, we went back to that type of style. So it's been fun. And you guys have had a lot of success on the recruiting trail. Last year, the number one high school class. Currently, you guys are sitting atop of the 247 board. If they would update it, I'd be very vocal with it. They need to do better on that. What has been the recruiting strategy for you guys where you all have seen the type of success that you guys are having on the recruiting trail? Well, I think it's more just getting guys to, to the um, facility, letting them hear from us. And then once the family hear, they connect to the vision. And I think that's really what it's all about is the ability to um, bring value to these young men. You're not just coming to play football. We're going to bring a whole lot of value to your life uh, from the NFL standpoint and then also from a professional standpoint. And I, and I think that is really resonating right now in the recruiting world. And you guys have a big game on the schedule. It got a lot of national attention, of course. The big game between Jackson State and you guys, the top two recruiting classes in the country. How did that come together, and what are you looking forward to most in that big game? Well, uh, you know, me and Dion, we got together and said, let's make it happen. Uh, you know, the athletic directors, uh, they was on board with it. Uh, we did a call, man, and, and – uh, and it was simple, you know, because I think it's just real simple when you want to make things happen. I think it's simple to make it happen. And um, he wanted it. I wanted it. Um, I think it'd be great for our kids because that, that's probably going to be the biggest FCS stadium we ever played in. And it's going to be their homecoming. It's going to be jumping. It's going to be loud. It's going to be crazy. And um, we get a chance to um, come to town and, and see what that's all about. And you guys were voted second in the preseason poll. You went on stage and said you remember back when you used to when y'all <laughs> voted to finish last. What is it? What would it mean to you to win the first conference championship in Campbell football history? It would mean everything. I mean, because that's really what it's all about, right? It's, it's winning championships. I've been winning championships. I've been a, a little pee wee. You know, and, and why should we stop now, right? And, and that's our that's our goal. That's, that was my goal when I came to Campbell. I wanted to take us from non-scholarship the scholarship. I wanted to take us to the number one recruiting class. I want to win a championship. So the last thing standing is the championship. And so it would mean everything to this university. And you guys have done, done a great job balancing the transfer portal while also staying active on the recruiting trail. What is the staff strategy? How do you, how do you guys find that good balance? Because sometimes we see teams overload in one or the other. How do you guys stay active on the high school recruiting trail, the recruiting trail while not ignoring the transfer portal? Well, I think it's a, it, it's, it is that. It's a balance, right? Anytime you build an anything, think about it. I, I was part of 20, um, the 2001 team of the Carolina Panthers going 1-15. In, in two years, building a Super Bowl contending championship football team. I know what that looks like, okay? I've been around that all my life, and so um, that, that's part of the thing. How many you need for transfers, and then how many you need to grow up. Um, and you don't want to go too far left or too far right. You want to stay in the middle, and so um, our coaches just do a great job of understanding our needs on our roster and then we go out and get it that's the thing right everybody understand the needs it's a whole nother thing to go out and get it and, and um, my coaches man have done a great job of that so I, you know I don't take none of that credit man they, they really um, manage their own position group and they go get the guys they need for their position group and it just happens to come out and lay out just right. So um, I give the credit to my coaches. You've seen this team grow throughout the spring and summer. Who are some players that have really stood out to you as guys that the media and, and all of us should pay attention to going into next season? Well, you remember them four and five stars that I got? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you need to pay attention <laughs> to them. It's a, it's, a, it's a reason why they put four and five stars on kids. I didn't, I didn't recognize that. You know, I come from the school where stars 
because we didn't know what that was, right? And and but it, it's a difference. When you see three stars, when you see four stars, you see five. That's a difference. And and um, all our guys, uh, Miles Rouser. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see why Arkansas wanted him. Okay. Um, this kid can play and, and knows football, very football intelligent. Um, and um, you know, Edric, another one that that Texas A&M wanted, tore his knee up. Um, six four corner. He actually six four, and he actually can run. Okay, he can move, and so um, he's gonna play corner for us. And, and it's gonna be fun to see these young people get on our roster and start to perform. Man, I, I can't wait to see them. I can't wait. We had Miles on the show right after he committed. Great guy. And the final question, Coach: If, if a fan or a media has never seen a Campbell team coach under you play, how would you describe your style of play? Well, I, I would say you two, Mike. Mitchell, Enter and watch them highlights, okay? Because that's how my boys gonna play. They're gonna be running around and they're gonna be hitting and they're gonna be physical and they're gonna love the game. Coach, I love the message. Guys, make sure to stay tuned for some Campbell football this year. I promise you're not going to want to miss it. But for Coach Mentor, myself, stay tuned for more content from Big South Media Day.